A recent Instagram post by NSYNC's Lance Bass is bringing attention to a disease many people have never heard of. The singer revealed he has type 1.5 diabetes, also known as latent autoimmune diabetes in adults or LEDA. LEDA has similarities to type 2 and as a result is often misdiagnosed. According to the National Library of Medicine, between 4 and 12 percent of people with type 2 might actually have LEDA. Joining us now to discuss this disease is cardiologist Dr. Jane Morgan. Good morning, doctor. Good to see you. Good morning, Mary. Nice to be here. All right, so first, what exactly is type 1.5 diabetes? Type 1.5 is a diagnosis or a name that we give to a type of diabetes that's not quite type 2, not quite type 1. Type 1 diabetes is what you think of as insulin-dependent diabetes, generally occurs in children, and it is insulin dependent, is caused by an autoimmune disorder. In other words, the body attacking itself. Type two diabetes, we generally see later in life, and it has a strong association with obesity, weight control, and diet. This type 1.5 is somewhat of a combination. It tends to be a little bit more towards the autoimmune because it really is an autoimmune disease that occurs later in life. And are there specific symptoms people should look out for? You know, Mary, when you look at the symptoms, they are the symptoms of diabetes. So increased urination, increased thirst, maybe numbness and tingling of the hands, blurred vision. But here are some things that you should suspect that you may have type 1.5, especially if you've been diagnosed with type 2. If you have an earlier diagnosis, in other words, maybe in your 30s or 40s, then maybe suspect that. If your physician is having difficulty managing your sugars with oral or pills for diabetes, that's also a clue. If you have other types of autoimmune diseases like celiac disease or thyroid disease or rheumatoid arthritis, or if you are rapidly progressing to needing insulin in type two diabetes, which generally does not require insulin, these are all clues that maybe you need to go back and get checked for this 1.5. And unlike type 2 diabetes, Leda is an autoimmune disease, so it can't be reversed with lifestyle changes. So how do you manage the disease and can it be prevented? You know, Mary, that is such a great point, and I'm glad we're going to be able to make this. There really is nothing you can do to prevent it. There's nothing you've done to cause it. This is an autoimmune disease, your body attacking itself, specifically attacking the beta cells of the pancreas that release insulin. It just is doing it much more slowly than type one. So does it over 20 or 30 years, and so it declares itself later in life but it is an autoimmune disease and there isn't anything that we can do so far in science to really prevent it. And if if you, you are diagnosed, I'm sorry, Mary, if you're diagnosed with it, one of the things that you can do, you want to make certain that you manage your weight, you have a good diet that's low in sugar, uh, quit smoking because these do have a risk of heart disease as well. And if you currently have type 2 diabetes, should you be asking your doctor to check if if it's actually later? You know, that is a great uh, point to make, especially if you are a lean person, your body is very lean and you are very athletic or you have any of these other types of autoimmune diseases or these autoimmune diseases are in your family, you are very active or you are rapidly moving towards insulin. They're giving you pills and maybe the pills are not controlling your sugars, your glucose as well. These are all clues that you may need to have a blood test for specific autoantibodies that can determine whether or not you actually have this latent autoimmune diabetes uh, in adults, 1.5. Dr. Morgan, we appreciate it.